For over a thousand years, the Zapotec Indians of Oaxaca, Mexico, have been weaving with yarns that they have dyed using the natural elements found in their environment. Porfirio Gutierrez and his family are among the few Zapotecs left who are still using these traditional methods. Thank you. Before dyeing begins, the plants and insects that the colors are made from must be collected. Dye plants are gathered in the mountains above the village, grown in home gardens, and sometimes purchased from neighbors who specialize in one element, like pecan or sapote negro, for example. Cochineal is the parasitic insect that makes red dye. It is very difficult to grow and gather, so it is usually purchased from a specialist in the village. Each dye has its own unique recipe for bringing out the colors. Some herbs like tarragon, pecan leaves, sapote negro, and tree moss are simply boiled in water until the yarn reaches the desired color. Other plants, like indigo, require many steps and more than one ingredient to achieve a good dye. Ground dehydrated indigo is added to wood ash water along with fresh muitle leaves. Then it must soak for at least three days before it can color the yarn. More colors can be created by combining dyes and other natural elements. For example, tarragon and indigo make a deep green. Indigo, mixed with cochineal, make a purple. Adding iron oxide to cochineal by boiling it in a rusty pot will result in a deeper red. Lemon juice will lighten cochineal to produce a wide range of pinks. Using all natural dyes results in a beautiful array of colors that cannot be achieved with synthetic chemical dyes. For more information on the natural dyes used by Porfirio Gutierrez and his family, please visit porfiriogutierrez.com. <laughs>